Hi, my loves. So we have a very exciting bag reveal slash first impressions and styling video. So I recently purchased the brand new Louis Vuitton tiny backpack in the black on print leather, which you guys know is my favorite type of leather. Um, but I can't wait to just like show you what it came with and talk through everything about it and all of my thoughts. So if you guys are interested in hearing about the newest, smallest backpack from Louis Vuitton, stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I occasionally peruse the Louis Vuitton website, just trying to see what pops up there and I'm always interested in seeing like what is promoted and what's not. So this bag came out I feel like in the last few weeks and I didn't really hear anything about it I hadn't seen anyone really post anything about it and I saw it on the website and I was like I need this bag I had seen the tiny backpack uh, uh, in the by the pool collection um, in store but I didn't like the stitching on it I felt it was like made a little wonky and so I didn't end up taking it I also didn't like the Vachetta accents on it I do love the by the pool collection I just didn't want to worry about like the Vachetta strap. So I ordered this bag. It came like in a week, which is like kind of long, but I ordered to the store to pick up and I picked it up and it came just like this. Um, it wasn't wrapped or anything. It came in a Louis Vuitton box and here it is. This dust bag has the tiny backpack. And they are not mincing words with tiny. It is really, really small. And I have my Palm Springs mini backpack here for comparison. But this bag is pretty small, holds a lot. But this is the tiny backpack. So it has three hooks on the back. And I will tell you what sold me on this bag. It also comes with, I'll put this down with the adjustable straps very similar to the palm strings mini but a different texture and i'll show you guys that in a second so two of those um these are the buckle straps instead of the like the snap ones that come with the palm strings mini um and then just like the item number and like a little thing um it, they did include ribbon but they didn't wrap it so that was interesting Okay, so here she is, and it is all gold hardware. There's a zipper on the back, and then the three ding rings, D rings, like I said. Um, what I loved about this too was that even though it has a gold buckle front, it's actually a magnetic closure. Can you hear that? It's really cool, and it's a pretty strong magnet. It's the way the the magnet is actually designed. The clasp on the front hooks onto the front of the button so even if this like were to pull on it it holds it tight so cute and then the back zipper is says Louis Vuitton on it and it zips up and it is pretty decent size but it doesn't hold like a phone or anything or anything too thick so that is it when you open it up it is a black like microfiber suede inside mine says made in France um, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France so that's kind of cool um, if you guys follow me at all you know that where it's made doesn't matter to me. I've had bags made in France that are a little off, but I've had ones made in the US that have been perfect. So it doesn't really mean much to me, but I think it's pretty cool if it was made in France. And then no date code in there, no pockets, just like an empty black <laughs> bag in there. Um, but yeah, onto the specs of it. So this bag actually retails for 1890 US dollars and the dimensions of it are 5.1 inches wide, uh, 7.5 inches tall, and 3.1 inches in width or depth. So I like that it is pretty deep, but it's only deep at the bottom, so you have to be conscientious of that when you put things in it isn't like the full extent of the 3.1, it's gonna taper off. Um, but 
that being said even there are, there are like there are stitches on the side and all of that it still expands a decent amount i kind of wish they just didn't include this little stitching um like little creases i know it's supposed to make it so that the bag like closes really adorably and like has this little extension look but it would be nice to hold a little bit more but yeah honestly first impressions are i didn't know if i was gonna love it i wanted to see it and when i saw it in person i just fell in love so i wanted to at least have a few days wearing it so i could tell you guys my first impressions and all of that but i definitely definitely love this bag um and i'll tell you guys i'll tell you guys why i was considering a super mini backpack um, I've been waiting for them to come out with like a full leather version of the Palm Springs Mini and I remember Foxy LV had posted that they were supposedly coming out with one in August. Um, that never happened and I don't know if they just decided to not come out with one, but I love the backpack functionality. I love that you can make it into a crossbody. There's so much that you can do with these bags that if they ever came out with a smaller black leather version, I wanted it. I know they do have the, Mon the Monterey's Montserrat in the full leather version, but it's a little bit too big for me. And I love my mini bags, but my super mini Gucci bag that I adore, I used to have two. I ended up deciding I only need one, but the one I kept is the Dionysus one, which is very structured, it's beautiful, but it no longer fits my iPhone 12 Pro. I had an 11 Pro and I didn't know they were different sizes. So I wanted another mini bag to possibly replace that one um i still have it i don't know if i'm gonna sell it yet i'm i'm still contemplating it if i do i will let you guys know on instagram and post it there first but i wanted another bag that i could grab and go that was black leather and you guys know that the empreant leather from louis vuitton is my absolute favorite so i loved that my only issue with this bag and i knew going into it that it might bother me was that it does not have a top handle like the Palm Springs Mini does, but I already knew that going in, so while I was waiting, I grabbed these bag charms from Organize My Bag, and I'll link them below for you guys. They make really good charms and chains for your bags um, and little clasps and things like that, but there was one that reminded me of like the Kusan strap, but mini, that's what it looks like. It's got two clasps, very Louis Vuitton looking clasps. So I've been wearing it clasped on the top two D-rings and it's been the perfect little top handle for me and it's really great because I can actually stick my arm through it and wear it at the crook of my arm um, and just grab it and go. But it's honestly just like the cutest little bag. So on to what fits right now i don't carry too much i honestly just carry my iphone 12 pro i slip it right in the back fits in perfectly i've been carrying my louis vuitton empreant business card holder um that one fits right in you can actually fit it either sideways or tall ways i put it in sideways and then also um, some sunglasses. These are just the Louis Vuitton ones. I will say if you have a slim case, it'll work, but I have uh, Celine glasses that I love, but I cannot fit this case in there. It's just too thick of a case. So um, I ordered microfiber uh, little like sleeves for my sunglasses so that I can wear more of them in and put them in this bag. So this is just the Louis Vuitton sunglasses. I can put that right in here. And really that is what I've been taking and it all fits in there really well. You could put, you could definitely fit like lotion, lipsticks, accessories in here. I don't like to keep my keys in the same pocket, but I usually will put my like loose keys in this back pocket, which is really convenient. Um, that way I know it's like by itself, not doing anything, not like, not doing anything, not scratching any of my other items. But that is, like, this is actually my like regular amount of stuff. So I can actually fit I really wanted to, I could fit like my key clay in here, right in there, and even like a Chanel mirror right in there, and it closes perfectly. So right now in here, 
I'm gonna take it out for you guys. I have my key clay, a Chanel mirror, my iPhone 12 Pro, my Louis Vuitton sunglasses, and my business card holder from LV. So let's switch it up. I brought some other items out uh, for you guys. I got some questions on whether a mini pochette would, would fit in here. So let's go ahead and see. And yes, a mini pochette will definitely fit in there. No problem whatsoever. Um, and then with the mini pochette, you could definitely put your phone in there. And I would say another mirror. And if you wanted to, like a card, the Louis Vuitton Slim, just like card holder also in there. And voila, it fits in there. It's honestly crazy how much fits in here. So let's take the pochette, mini pochette out, take the phone out, and let's take the mirror and the card holder out. I actually want to see if the card holder fits in the back pocket because I haven't taken this out in a while. And it doesn't like fit well in the back. Let's see if it fits like long ways. Yeah, so I don't think a card holder will fit in here. I think loose cards will. The Chanel mirror will fit in there. So like lipsticks, hand sanitizer would fit in here. Um, smaller items like, like, like I said, keys would fit in there. So let's see what else I brought out for you guys. I did bring the Chanel, uh, like the card holder. That will definitely fit in here. I'm gonna put it in sideways at the bottom. Um, have my six ring key holder. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't scratch up that other one. And then let's put in key clay again. That'll fit. And then I could put like literally two wallets in there and it'll still fit. Yeah, so that is all of that. Just no phone in there and that all fits as well. I do notice that like depending on what you have in here, sometimes like the sides will stick out, but the magnet is so strong that like, I don't think anything will ever come out. So funny. Um, but yeah, honestly fits a ton. So hopefully that helps anybody considering this bag on like size. I really, I really think that as long as you have like an iPhone that isn't so crazy big, you're gonna be able to fit anything else in there. So it's just really about the height part because the height is what prevents this from snapping closed. And you definitely don't want that to be an issue. So I think any phone will really fit in here. I also wanted to talk to you guys about the straps and how I wear it. So these straps are the same leather as the Ampreon. It's a little different than the leather that comes with the Palm Strings Mini, which is a little bit shinier. Um, and what's cool about this bag is that it doesn't clasp the same way as the Palm Strings Mini. It has a third, it only has three D-rings instead of four. So it clips right here, which actually makes the bag sit at a nicer height than the Palm Springs Mini. Um, and I'm a petite girl, like I'm pretty short, I would say. And it really sits at a nice height on the body. So right now I have it on two different lengths, right? Yes, I have one on a longer length. So really all you have to do to adjust this, which is a little bit nicer in the Palm Springs Mini, which you have to like pull the studs out, is that you just undo it like a belt and you put it on the length that you desire. So I've been putting it on the one, two, three, fourth hole from the top. So one, two, three, fourth hole from the top. Close it. And slip it through, it's like a little belt, and then clasp it. And there you go. So I've worn this as a backpack, super cute. I'll try it on for you guys in a second, but I've been really mostly wearing it as a crossbody. So all I do is, <clears throat> I actually usually just like keep the strap in the bag at the bottom. I'll roll it up, keep it in the bottom, but 
I just extend it to a longer length so that it fits across like bulkier shirts or sweatshirts or things like that. And it sits really, really well on the body. So yeah, let's go ahead and try it on for you guys. Okay, excuse the lighting in here might be difficult to see, but this is what the tiny backpack looks on the length that I keep it on. Um, it isn't much higher than the Palm Springs Mini, but you can make it higher. But I've been keeping it like that just because I've been wearing like sweats over a t-shirt when I go out. I just want it to be like easy to grab and go. This is also another way that I usually tend to wear my backpacks is like on one shoulder, let it hang. And so far the magnet has been holding really well. Um, I'll take two of them, carry it like that. Um, and then also if you do end up getting like a little chain top handle, it can be from anywhere really. Um, or even like a little leather top handle, this is how I like to grab it. Just like this. Like this. I'm sorry about my outfit. I've just been having a super chill Harry Potter day with Jamie. About to make some ramen. Um, and then let me quickly convert this into a crossbody. So I'll take off one of these straps over there and I'll show you like just what it looks like when I turn it from a backpack strap into a crossbody so this is just the regular length it's how it sits and this is where this is where it would hit on the body if I left it at that backpack length which is the fourth hole I like, I actually really like this height, but if you're wearing anything bulky at all, it's going to be a little too short. So, let's, let's go ahead and extend it a little bit longer. And this is normally how I, this is the normal length that I wear it at. And this still has like two more holes that it could extend to so this is where it hits me on the body I think it's a pretty good length what do you guys think let me put it on one shoulder for you as well this in the back Okay, and I also wanted to include a side-by-side -side comparison of the Palm Springs Mini to the Tiny Backpack. And as you can see, I have them both, I think, pretty much at the same length strap. And this is what the Palm Springs Mini looks like on my body versus the Tiny Backpack. I thought this would be like the easiest way to show you like size comparison and reach in like this both are really convenient I, th I do think the magnetic closure is really convenient because all you have to do is just like use one hand grab it go in and you can close it versus the palm strings mini like doing it with one hand if you have this bag you know it's hard so you gotta like kind of have two hands to do it but still one of my most used bags ever i do not see myself getting rid of this bag at any time soon at all um, I just love backpacks. I don't, they just fit my lifestyle so much. So these are the two bags side by side. Okay. So thanks for humoring me and letting me try this on for you and doing the side by side comparison to the Palm Springs mini. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about like why I even was considering a new bag. So, you know, that I was upset that I couldn't fit my phone into my super mini bag anymore. And I actually was very, very close and teetering on getting either the new favorite or the multi pochette accessoire um, in the black Empriant, which I also love. But what I realized recently is that I like bags that sit on their own, which is why I was kind of leaning more towards the favorite, but I really liked the interchangeability and 
the amount of use that I could get out of the multi pochette and I was then going back to that one and I was thinking okay I could use it as an evening bag and I still really like that bag and I might get it um, but when I saw this little bag it just really screams me I love backpacks I love how casual they look um, and it's just like the perfect perfect size I can actually bring this into like concerts or stadium games all of that it's like a really good size and i just like that i could make it a crossbody grab it and i actually will eventually try to find like a shoulder strap that can actually go down to the length that i need for it to sit like right here and i'm gonna play around this bag a lot um i definitely want to see if there's a way i can wear it as a belt bag as well so stay tuned for all of that i've only had this for about a week now so I don't have too much insight to give you guys, but hopefully all of the reasons that I gave you for why I bought it and why I like it so far will be helpful. And just seeing what fits. I couldn't find a ton of information on the tiny backpack. I do know the By the Pool collection was limited, so there aren't a lot of those out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, leave them below. I will link anything I talked about today. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Decor and Designer. If you have any questions, DM me there. I do post a lot of bag content, styling content, all of that. And I will be updating you guys daily like I have for the last few days on this bag. And I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Go have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to go downstairs, make some soup, and finish watching Harry Potter. Love you guys. Bye.